Proverbs 4.18 is a favorite scripture of mine on you know, bumpy days. It says, the path of the righteous is like the first gleam of dawn, shining ever brighter until the full light of day. I don't know if that was an inspiration for Matt Brower's latest CD. Here it is, Till the Sunrise, but uh, we are going to find out what's behind this um, Covenant Award nominated CD. Actually, two nominations, Matt. But first, congratulations, is this show and tell. <laughs> Welcome, Hannah, for the first time to 100 Huntley Street. And uh, congratulations. We can still call you newlyweds because we haven't seen you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Since we'll you were Mr. It. and Mrs. as of August 29th, 2010. Yeah. Where did you two meet? We met first in Guatemala, actually, on a mission trip. Um, Hannah's parents are missionaries uh, in Guatemala. They have been since, since you were 14, I think. Uh, so um, I went with a church from Houston on a mission trip for eight days, and, uh, and Hannah and her family would help out, and Hannah especially would be there interpreting for our group who only know English, and Hannah, of course, is fluent in Spanish, and mm -hmm. so that's how we first met. And um, Probably three different years I went down every year and Hannah would be home from college for the summer and uh, we kind of got to know each other and it was really neat in that atmosphere of a mission trip to get to know somebody because I mean you're just you're not showering every day it's if you do it's a cold shower and it's like you're in dirty clothes and you're doing a work project or Very whatever. Very little image management Exactly possible. yeah the and there's not a lot of pretense in that environment and you get to see somebody's heart to serve too and the first mm -hmm. time that I really I guess I don't know I just really felt something for Hannah was when I um, we were working with kids and we were playing games and she was holding this little baby and the baby had peed all over her basically. And she was a young girl and just didn't flinch, just held the kid and loved on him and did not, you know, and I just thought, wow, what an incredible person. I really want to get to know her a little bit better. Well, I, I see this heart of compassion is really part of the fabric of your life, Hannah. Yesterday and again tomorrow, you'll be back on your job as a physician assistant in surgical oncology. Mm -hmm. So tell us what you do in that role. Um, I, it's, every day is different. It just depends on what exactly is, is going on. Um, there are certain days where I actually assist in the operating room, um, but most days I'm in clinic. Um, unfortunately, I'm usually the first person that patients come to whenever they have a diagnosis, so they're very scary. It's a very scary time where they're just, um, they've just been diagnosed, but they don't know any of what's going to happen. So diagnosed we, with cancer. With cancer, yeah. So I work with breast cancer and melanoma patients specifically. Oh. So I kind of just give them an overview of what to expect and try to be very, very optimistic. And fortunately, most of our patients do really well. So it's, we can, we can do that. So, yeah. so a ministry of walking alongside. Yeah. Really. How beautiful. And you've got a ministry of doing that full time <laughs> with this guy here. And it's changed him. I, yeah. Everything I read, it's, I mean, this is, I'm sure, what God intended. Yeah. Two are better than one. Yeah, absolutely. You do love that verse, don't you, Matt? I do like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, it really, it came as a surprise the way that I felt that God really, through our love and our relationship, expanded my heart in a way for ministry to see other people and to just really care deep, more deeply. And uh, it really impacted my writing, and I really noticed it when I was working on this latest album, how um, the themes of, there was just a deeper experience of God's love, and it was pouring over, it was spilling over in a new way, and it, it felt like such a new beginning. Like, and I've, you know, been doing music for a little while, and so to have that, was really incredible, and it's just been the, a great foundation this first two years uh, for Hannah and I to, to really, uh, you know, look at what God has for us together in ministry. And there's definitely one song just for you here, <laughs> Hannah. Mm. One in a million. <laughs> That's about you. And I love this. Not complete without you. I just gotta have you near. <laughs> yes. But it's not all romance, Mr. Originally from Truro, Nova Scotia. Have yeah. to give a shout out to your. You've got family still watching, right? Yeah. In Nova Scotia. Oh, yeah. All right. over Canada. All right. And they've got to be so proud because uh, 
you've already won. How many awards? Oh, a handful. Um, uh, two years ago, actually, Hannah and I both got to go to the uh, awards for the Juno Awards in uh, St. John's, Newfoundland. And I had never been there. And uh, so this was Hannah's really one of her first experiences in the country of Canada, way up there in uh, St. John's, Newfoundland. And we had a fabulous time. It was so much fun and just a real encouragement, too. And I think anybody in ministry and in music in, in this day and age, you know, a little bit of an encouragement goes a long way. And it's uh, and you write from the heart. You really journal uh, your life in your heart. Eleven songs on this CD, mm -hmm. all written or co-written uh, by you. And I want to go to this song, Outside, Inside. Uh, but uh, here was the surprise. I opened it up, and the first name I saw was Michael Omardian. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, uh, he, he's worked with Vince Gill, Pete, Peter Cetera, Whitney Houston, and for 25 years partnered with the engineer, Terry Christian, who's worked with Lionel Richie, Keith Urban. They both worked on that award winning previous CD. Here we go again. You're so young, Matt, and you've made such great connections musically in Nashville. Well, it really is so humbling. You, all those names that you listed, I mean, I, compl you know, I feel sort of strange, you know. You're in the mix now. Being in that mix at all. And it's just, it really is interesting when God opens a door. And um, I, you know, getting into music, I've been a, a shy person, especially growing up. I struggled with a lot of insecurities. And, and as God has given me a passion and something to share, music has been a really interesting place because it's really kept me focused on Him because I really feel like I need to lean on God's strength just to get through it. And because of that, it's, it's been a really amazing journey of uh, just, it's been humbling for me and it's working with somebody like Michael Martin. Mm, great, ooh, we need more than a minute. Uh, outside, Inside, can you tell us quickly that started to be a song about the devastation after the tornadoes in Joplin, Missouri, 150 killed? Yeah. What happened when you were writing that? Well, I was writing that with a friend and we started this song and all of a sudden as I sat down by myself to kind of work on the chorus, I realized the song of tragedy and about somebody dealing with a loss, especially the loss of a loved one, it hit me, it was the story of my mom and what she went through when my dad was killed in a car accident when I, I was three years old, my sister was two and I had some other siblings as well. And um, Singing it from her perspective just changed everything and became a really personal track on that album. Now the song you're actually doing today, uh, I'm telling you, you're singing off my song sheet <laughs> with this one. I was thrilled to hear the words to Ocean. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us before you go off to sing it. What, well, let me quote this. A song about the longing for authentic relationships in a culture obsessed with social media connectivity. Mm. What was in your heart about this? Well, I just felt like I really related to the feeling of being isolated and lost. And I've been there, especially, you know, the transition from being a kid to being an adult in our day and age is, is tough. And uh, I grew up near the ocean and the idea of how big and scary it is kind of was like a metaphor for, for launching out in life. And wherever you're at, if you're taking on a new challenge. And so for me, the song, you know, it starts off saying, um, Oh, will you come find me? I'm all alone in an army of restless souls that no one knows. It's just this feeling of not being connected. And it's funny because we were talking about this earlier. It's just there's so many ways that people talk about being connected. Facebook, Twitter, social media. But it doesn't always really satisfy that need, that hole in our lives that we're trying to fill that only God can fill in a relationship with Him. And so for me, being able to say in a song was really important on this album at this time in my life, being newly married. I wanted to be able to say, but that is something that I have found through Christ, is mm -hmm. this um, just being found and being known and no. that that gives purpose really no. to our journey as we look towards our life together. And, you know, I wanted to be able to say that in a song, so that was the one. Well, Matt, off you go. We're going to get to hear all the words of this song. Yeah, cool. Just head in that direction. And uh, did we say, Hannah, where you live when you are at home? Now we live in Houston. In Houston. Mm -hmm. Lots of trips to Nashville, though. Oh, yeah, back and forth. <laughs>